Today's topic is going to be about should you train while you're sick? Should you work out? Should you go to the gym? And what should you do to help get better? So the first point of call is you need to actually understand how sick you are. Now, is it just kind of a little cold that you've just kind of picked up? Something that's not really too affecting you too much. You can still do everything, you still go to work, still get sort of day-to-day -day things done. You just got a bit of a runny nose and sort of clogged up head or whatever. Or is it the other end where you're completely struggling to move, can't get out of bed and completely, absolutely just fatigued? So ask yourself this. And truthfully, don't kind of just think, ah, oh, if I feel a little bit worse, I don't have to go to work kind of thing. Like, truthfully, say to yourself, how kind of sick are you? Now, the thing with working out is one, you're going to start taxing your central nervous system. Now, when I'm talking about working out, I'm talking about sort of in the gym, lifting weights, this kind of thing. So it's going to tax your central nervous system because you're doing kind of big movements, expending, expending lots of energy and overloading in terms of using weight on top of your body weight. So this leaves your immune system open further to more germs and being sort of in a gym environment, people sweating, people sort of doing that. It's not, not the cleanest of places anyway. So quite often you can actually make this worse by picking up other germs. And you've got to think of it in a way that you are already sort of sick because you're, so your immune system is downregulated. It's, it's being taxed. Your body is trying to fight off this disease. So you're then your kind of barrier defense is down you're open to further attacks from sort of these germs bugs and bits and pieces like that so what can you do if you really are sick then don't bother going to the gym because it's just going to make things worse take a couple of days reset your systems recover fight the illness and get back to it when you are able to do exercise or during this kind of period where you're not at the gym, then you can do non-strenuous exercise. So things like walking, um, low intensity kind of activity stuff. It doesn't have to be kind of all out, like running, sprinting, lifting weights all the time. You can just do light activity, which is going to help your immune system recover, increase blood flow and make you feel like you've still done something anyway, but this low intensity activity is still gonna be enough for you. Now I know that you want to sort of build muscle tissue and get leaner or whatever your goals are, and you think that you have to be this kind of all out, go for it all the time, um, work hard, but if you're sick, then you're not gonna be doing yourself any favors by trying to do something that you're not capable of. Listen to your body and just kind of be smart about your training. So this is what I have basically done over sort of the last week. Um, I've been actually kind of bed bound. Uh, even doing kind of client work has been hard enough trying to sort of get plans together and just mentally I've not been with it. So any sort of in-person training was out of the question anyway. My gym sessions were non-existent. I was trying to even just get up and out and moving a little bit, which 
I didn't get much of done because I just wasn't able to do it. And I've just kind of completely been knocked. So feeling much better now. Um, today's kind of like the first day I've been up sort of more active, more doing things. So I wanted to get a video done straight off the bat and make sure that they're going forwards. That's today's vlog done. Any questions, stick them in the comments and I'll catch you tomorrow.